Hello, Internet. Uh, this is Monday, September 26, 2022. I recently got a couple of these Pine 64 uh, Pine Soul soldering irons, the version 2s. And I wanted to make a little video of this because, uh, first reason, the footage I've seen, the videos I've seen, the pictures I've seen, really didn't communicate how tiny this thing is. Uh, I wanted to give some context for that. Um, so over here is a little field soldering kit I put together. In terms of what comes in this, uh, you get a little instruction manual, just a foam insert. This actually has some useful information. Uh, you get basically the watt consumption table per voltage input for its max on the 6 and 8 ohm tips. Um, if you're at 20 volts, 24 volts, whatever. Useful information. So let's put this away, put this aside, and let's open this up. So right here is the iron. I'll maybe do a separate video on the kit that I put together later. Oh, it's got some nice repeat. So, when I saw a video of this, I saw pictures, it looks like, oh, it seems like normal size. And I was going online to get stuff to, like, put it in a holder. I was getting one of those regular spiral wire things for, you know, like, a, a normal size iron. Uh, that was not at all what this is. So... I mean, with that V2 tip, and it's a little bit shorter, here's a little Zebra F301 pencil. Just a, a bit lighter for a size comparison. This is, in person, subjectively feels a lot smaller than it looks like in pictures and such. Uh, especially when you break it down into just the components. So the tip is like, you know, the length of a finger. And to put that in context, uh, the iron is just a little bit longer than, you know, the finger. Uh, I can give objective measurements, but they have those. It's you know, about four inches long for just the body. And, you know, three, what, three and a third inches long for the new tip. Uh, the older tips are a little bit longer, not too much. But this is just so tiny, it's cute. Uh, something I'm getting for this, so probably the most common, mo ah, yes, obligatory internet cat tax. Hey, Roxy. Are you having fun getting into my stuff? Am I not paying attention to you? You like my chair, don't you? Okay. You stay there. Stay out of trouble. You gonna stay out of trouble? Good kid. Alright, so where was I? Yeah. Um. Bad kid. 
So yeah, uh, it really doesn't communicate how tiny this thing is. Um, just from looking at pictures and video of it, it's, it's very, very small. Not a bad thing at all. It's fully functional iron. Um, I was just looking around for cases and such for field storage. Probably went a little bit bigger than I needed to. It ended up working out okay, but, um, yeah, very tiny. In terms of connectivity power, so we have a, it hooked up to the pine power here. That's uh, that guy right there. And it auto negotiates to its uh, maximum available. We'll plug this in. So it comes out of wand, it doesn't start heating the tip up or anything, uh, not until you fill it. And it auto negotiates up to the uh, voltage, highest voltage available from the source. In this case, it auto negotiates to 20. In terms of interface, you press the, if I just wanted to start heating up, I press the plus button and it would start heating. Minus takes it through the settings. So power settings go in there, power source DC, 3S, which is I guess a battery type. Oh, there we go. Sets cut off. So those are the options there. Quick charge voltage, nine. Max QC voltage. PD timeout. So I'm guessing that's when it... Oh, well, it explains the whole thing. Feel free to skip past this if you already know the menu. I forgot I just chose for one. So, power settings, soldering settings, boost temp. So if you like hold, it will go to that temperature. You can change that around. Temp temperature and boost mode. Startup behavior. So you can change whether or not it uh, just turns on the OS or it starts heating up the iron automatically. Tip change. So what the increment is, like 1 degree, 5 degrees, etc. For long press, I mean, that's pretty explanatory. Press it for a long amount, it changes 10 at a time, or you can change it to whatever you want. Allow locking buttons. Okay. So you can lock out inputs on the buttons while soldering. Power settings, soldering settings, sleep mode, user interface. Temperature units in Celsius, Fahrenheit, display orientation. Cool down flashing. Scrolling speed, slow and fast. Swap keys, I want to do that. 
animation speed, medium, animation loop, yep. Brightness level, it's green. Oh, color invert, okay. Boost logo duration, detailed idle screen, detailed solder screen. That's it for user interface. Advanced settings, power limitations, restore factory settings, calibrate temperature, calibrate input voltages, power pulse, I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, so that's to keep a power source supplying it power, I believe. Power post delay, I'm guessing four seconds, not four minutes. Times 2.5 seconds, okay. Duration. And that's it for the UI. Uh, hopefully I didn't skip over anything. So let's... Oh yeah, we can also show... Um, so that's on the pine power right now, and I can show how long it takes to get to temperature. I think it's currently set at 320. Maybe I have it set at 310 right now. Yeah, looks like I have it set at 310. So if I long press minus, no, I'm just uh, it's decreasing it. So it was originally 320. Let's set it back to that. So I think to turn off the heat, you know, I've just been unplugging it. Looks like it is cooling down now. So let's just reset. And it'll sense that it's still hot when it comes back on. And it'll show you the decreasing temperature. Uh, what else do I want to show with this? I think that's it. I mean, you don't really want to an even longer warning video watching it cool down. It takes a while. Usually I just run a little water on the base of the tip to leach off the heat if I want it to cool fast. Um, oh, most common mod, the thumb screw, the M2 by 4 millimeter. Looked around to uh, try to find. Yeah, I tried to find this with the U.S. source. Um, I absolutely could not find this with the U.S. source at all. So it's shipping out from China. Uh, but yeah, they're on Amazon. That's the M2 by four meter or more yeah, millimeter thumb screw. Uh, they're not terribly expensive, and you know then you can have it much more convenient. Not have to have a screwdriver. Uh, you can just unscrew that when you want. And yeah, I think, I think I'll make this into a separate video. All right, so I apologize for my lawn rambling nature. Uh, this was not terribly well organized, but I just wanted to get a visual of the V2, um, try to communicate to people who might watch this just how physically small that is, uh, because until I actually had it in my hand, I subjectively had no idea how tiny it was, um, and that's the only bit I really wanted to communicate. Uh, 
yeah, I'm rambling. All right, everyone have a good night. Bye.